Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and this is a rant video and as you can see from the title it's called why I will never buy Oakley glasses again that's right I own a pair of Oakley sunglasses that are prescription and I paid three hundred and twenty dollars for these bad boys and they failed me twice and that's the lenses the second I'm gonna do two parts of this and the first part is ranting on these guys and then explaining the importance of eye doctors and getting your eyes checked but I have to rip on the glasses. I, I honestly, they've replaced the lenses once. So the original lenses that I had, that I re remember, three hundred twenty dollars is a lot of money to spend on something, on anything, especially glasses. But I wanted to get qual something quality, and I knew that Oakleys have had a good reputation. At least that's what we've always been told as we were growing up that Oakleys were the best of the best of the best, with honor, sir. Yet I purchased them, and within under a year a crack started to form in the lens. And I was away when the year passed, and then it was like a couple weeks past that, and they give you a one-year warranty, and I contacted them, and they said they can't replace it, no questions, uh, there's no way they can change their mind because it's past the warranty time. Now, what happened was there was a crack forming in the glass, and it just kept expanding and expanding, and that was from the inside out. There was nothing that I could have done to make that happen, and I said to these guys, I'm like, look, this is a manufacturer's defect. Are you going to stand behind your product, or are you not? So they said no. I sent them in anyway with a long letter about why they should replace it, and they ended up replacing it. So fast forward about another year, and there started to be some ghosting showing up in the lenses. Stop tinging, phone. And what was happening is you can see in the picture on the screen that this go basically the lenses are separating. They're starting to separate from each other. The, the plastic is falling apart, and it's causing a ghosting, which is starting to tr track into my vision area. That's not good for something like this. So I put out a tweet and said that my Oakley glasses have failed, and I'm not too happy. And they contacted me and said, well, there's nothing we can do. It's over a year. And again, I'm like, look, do you stand behind your product, or, you, or do you not? Do you expect your lenses to only last one year because that's why you warranty for them for one year? Or what? They couldn't answer that question. So now they do it for two years, but they said that they can't replace these. And I said, well, I'm no longer going to purchase Oakleys anymore. I can't. They're going to fail on me. They failed on me twice. I think I gave you a fair enough chance. So that's why I'm looking for the next pair of glasses. I don't know what they're going to be, whether it's Maui Jims or Ray-Bans or something else out there. If you guys have a suggestion, leave it below. If you're one of those companies, give me a call. I want to test them out and see what I think. But I won't be, trying, I won't be paying any more money for Oakley glasses from here on out because that just... Once is okay, fail twice, and don't stand behind your product, even if it's not in warranty. It's like buying a Nikon lens or a Canon lens, Tamron, Sigma, Tokina, and something happens within a year, and they don't cover it. But the thing about those companies is they stand behind their lenses. They give you four or five years of coverage on manufacturer's defects. If you're going to put out a product and you're going to charge a lot of money for it, you better stand behind it. And that's what I'm telling the Oakley out there. You better stand behind your product against manufacturer defects. I can understand if somebody broke it, somebody sat on it, somebody didn't take care of their stuff. But I take care of my stuff and, it's a, and it failed me twice. So that's that rant. I'm not buying those ever again. So your recommendations are absolutely welcome to see what I can uh, look into next and hopefully have better luck there. So the second part of this is, stop tinging phone, is going to the eye doctors and getting your eyes checked. You shouldn't really go more than two years. I've been going for once a year since I was six months old to take care of my eye condition that I have because I wanna make sure that I'm on top of anything that could show up that we can react quickly and take care of what, whatever happens. So it's really important that you get your eyes checked out, especially as photographers, but especially as people, because if you can't see, it kind of makes life a little difficult. And I'm sure uh, some blind photographers can attest to that because we do have some blind photographers watching and they do their best to, to do what they can. But really, get your eyes checked out. Glaucoma is terrible. You know, there's things they can do to prevent certain things, but your eyes are very important and sunglasses are very important as well. I've been wearing sunglasses since I was a little kid uh, because I've been sensitive to light my whole life. And really, find a good pair of glasses, just not Oakleys at this point. Don't buy them because they don't stand behind their product. Um, but really, a good pair of polarized 
sunglasses, not some $10 piece of junk, but something that's going to protect your eyes from the UV rays. They're going to help you just see longer into the future because we know that the sun is harmful to your vision. So really protect your eyes with glasses, get them checked out at the eye doctors, and do whatever you can to protect your eyes because they're very important. So there you have it. That's my rant and my anti-Oakley slant. Let me know in that rhymes. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me or you work for some other company that thinks you have a better product. Let me know. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. For more rants, please click the screen right now.